This is the full black pill guide on how a sub 5 can look smacks to at least annoy me. But before we get into it, you gotta explain what a sub 5 is. A sub 5, or how I like to call it sub 8, is short, bow slash trash hair, ugly face, fat, dick size, ethnicity, vulnerable, aka disability, shitty style. The things that you can't change is your height, you can't change your dick size, you can't change your ethnicity. You can't change if you have a disability, but what are the things you can change? You can change if you're bald or if you have like a shitty hair. If you're balding, you can change your face a little bit in some ways. You can change your body fat percentage. So you can change if you're fat or extremely skinny, you can change that. And you can change your style. So, but in this video, we're going to focus more on the face because the face is equally the most important thing in a man's attractiveness. So without further ado, Let's talk about how you can look smack your face as a sub 5. So let's focus on the lower third of the face, which is the jaw and the chin. The worst features in the jaw or chin is loose high risk skin. Your chin filtering ratio is not 1 to 2.5% or pixels. You have a declined mandible, a recessed mandible, or a steep mandible, or a curved mandible, or a short ramus. So that's a bit brutal. As a sub 5 male, you might have either all of these worst features in the lower third of the face so just don't doom it's not over because here's my general advice you can do to at least fix this problem in your face now what i recommend you to do is mew mewing is a very good facial exercise so all you have to do to mew is to close your teeth and place your tongue of the roof of your mouth number two do facial exercises there's a lot and a lot and a lot of, of youtube information on what facial exercises you can do to obviously define your jaw make it more defined and make it more shown and then one there number three chew hard foods with four teeth because a lot of you soft five people you're not chewing hard food so you're not challenging your jaw muscles so so if i were you i'll stop complaining and i'll chew hard foods Anyways, I'm joking. Do not breathe through your mouth. Don't breathe through your mouth. Because if you breathe through your mouth, you're going to affect the maxilla. And your jaw is going to become compact with your face. And obviously, another obvious advice is to lose body fat percentage. Because how would you know if you, if you have a trash jaw, if you're fat? Do you get what I'm trying to say? So the ideal body fat percentage is 12 13 14 15 ideally 15 if you've done all of this and your jaw is still trash grow a bit literally grow a bit and none of this work and it was a waste of time and it, and this is all cope then get surgery literally get surgery it is what it is get surgery so let's focus on the mid face slash nose so these are the worst features in a mid face so you have a compact mid face ratio low self cheekbones flat or rounded cheeks or two hollow cheeks and your nose is big small rounded all of that bad stuff do you get what i'm trying to say so obviously the general advice to fix that in terms of your mid face is to, the same rules applies with the jaw slash chin it's to me do your facial exercise do not breathe your mouth lose body fat percentage and if and obviously with the nose there's no general advice to change the nose like the only way you can fix your nose if your nose is trash is surgery i can't lie to you so you 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 might have to do a nose surgery if your nose is ass i can't lie to you in terms of your health and as a sub five you might have a fat face acne eye bags thin lips shitty teeth and your balding or having a receiving hairline so if you have a balding receiving hairline if i get a haircut if i get a hair transplant if you have a fat face lose body fat percentage go to the gym cardio gym fast e clean yeah with acne get skincare routine my skincare routine is that i use african black soap for my and when i shower and then after when i obviously when i wash my face using african black soap i have shea butter but i cream my face with using shea butter and i use lemon oil with the shea butter to cream my face that's my skincare routine every single time i shower if you have eye bags sleep properly have eight hours of sleep if that doesn't work and if that's cold then get eye bag surgery if you have thin lips get lip fillers if you have shitty teeth brush your teeth two times a day and brush it properly and floss your teeth if that's cope and what i'm doing is a waste of time and it doesn't make a difference then go to the dentist and get that checked out so let's focus on the eye slash eyebrows so in, obviously in terms of the eyes and the positioning of the eyes you have a negative cantal toe and that one i don't see no general advice for that other than getting a cantal toe surgery but 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 
you can still look masculine even with a negative cantor tilt you can get colored contact lenses trust me to change the color of your eye you look more masculine i'm not gonna lie just take a look at these examples and see the difference if you have thin eyebrows color your eyebrows make it look more positive so that you look like you're more masculine angry aggressive something like that do you get what i'm trying to say that's what i'm saying if not then get an eyebrow transplant and if it's cold do you get what i'm trying to say let's talk about the skull the worst features in skull you have a whole face a circle face and a thin neck in terms of a thin neck you can do neck exercises next exercises you can definitely change that so you neck exercises if you make your your neck a little bit more thicker you look more way more masculine and you look like you have high testosterone do neck exercises if you want more information on neck exercises go on youtube and type in how to get a thicker neck there's loads of good neck exercises but the basic one is like getting a, a plate putting it on your head and then just curling your head and your neck obviously to get the neck exercises train it to failure if you have a horse face like i said when you do autotropic autotropic if you have a horse face or circle face do autotropic circle face is due to high body fat percentage so lose body fat percentage and do autotropics and mute yeah if not and this is all copa and what i'm saying is just absolute a waste of time and it doesn't even work out it doesn't make a difference then surgery surgery is the answer if i'm if i'm being honest but i feel like it will work most of the time everything that i've listed will increase your points just by at least four so if you're you're not going to be a sub five no more because everything i said in the general advice without surgery can at least increase your points up to two to three to make you a normie not a sub five do you get what i'm trying to say people are still being doomers and saying this nothing here makes a difference then bro you're just being a doomer and you're not putting no effort into looks max in anyways i mean that's that's pretty much it it's pretty much how to looks max as a sub five male to become at least like a normie so if this helped you leave a like and give a comment down below and the whole point of looks max is hiding your worst features and enhancing your best features so obviously yeah thank you for watching i hope this helped you in some way shape or another and i'm pretty much it let me know if you want me to do like a height maxing tips uh gym maxing tips whatever i'm not i'm out see you later